Hello, good day fellow fur fans and welcome to the video today. Um, in today's video I'm going to discuss how I fixed my horse's electric fence energizers. Um, you see both of them broke uh, and unfortunately when electric fencing is broke horses tend to get out. Um, so it was quite important that I get them fixed quite quickly. Um, I unfortunately am not an electrician, so I had to buy in the parts that meant I could fix them. Um, I had to put them on special order because I needed it very quickly, otherwise my horses probably would have got loose. Um, so they came within a few days. Um, so with the power of internet and video magic, um, I'm going to show you them arriving now and also how I fixed them. Um, if you have any questions about how I do this, please let me know. Um, but enjoy this little video guys. So here are the things that finally arrived at work um, have to be the strangest thing I've had delivered to date I think. This is the first broken bit of one of the energizers as you can see the red clip has come away. Here are the energizers and batteries that power the fence at the moment. Um, this is the other one that's broken and um, that's the one I just showed you had the red clip missing but if you see this white wire coming up to the fencing um, the other one powers that one, but this white wire powers the middle strip, currently held on by a plastic sandwich bag clip. Um, if I open it up, I can show you the inside. So here's the wire, um, lovely and exposed. You see those little end bits, um, they're what produce the electricity. Um, at the end of that should be one of these. So I'm gonna fix that as well as the broken red clip today. Tiny seems to be very interested in the package with the energizer bits. Um, I have it in a brown paper bag at the moment and she is following me, as you can see. She doesn't particularly like it, um, and maybe, although maybe she thinks it holds food. I've now taken the uh, new bits out of the paper bag, ready to fix uh, both of these energizers. Um, I'm going to do the easier one first, which is the one that had the broken red clip. Um, so all I've got to do is take this new part and plug it into the side like so. I'm going to make sure it's nice and secure. Um, these bits will then just clip onto the battery and as you can see the red clip is attached. Let's go on to the other one. This one might be a bit more complicated with one hand. So I need to unscrew this bit here on the second energizer, uh, making sure that I pull the old white wire off fully. I'll get that out of the way. Um, I now take the new bit, um, this little metal circle disc slots onto the um, thing there and then we just screw it back up. I'm going to try and do this one hand, Oops, sorry. Um, yep, yeah, so we're going to screw it back up, uh, making sure that when we um, tighten it, it's quite tight so that it doesn't come off or pull away in the wind or the rain or anything. So we'll just make sure that's nice and tight. Uh, this clip, um, that was the plastic sandwich clip, will now just clip onto the fencing like so. So that's now all repaired. Um, so I'm going to turn the fence back on just to make sure it's working okay. Um, so we need to clip um, this way. I need to attach the clip to the battery, red to red and black to black, or positive to positive, negative to negative, um, depending on your preference. So that one should now be clicking. Yep. Um, it's red because the batteries need charging, so I do apologise for that. Um, I'm now going to connect this one up. I do need to plug in the earth state for this one, um, like that. That's what the green clips are. Um, and then I'll connect the clip to the top fencing wire. Um, I tend to electrify my top and middle strands um, just because Hagrid is very big. So if I don't electrify the top, he does have a tendency to go through it. Um, but we'll connect this one up to the battery as well just to make sure that this one is also working. Miss, missed the clip there. Um, so I'll just finish connecting up and just make sure that the light is flashing. Um, get rid of the sandwich bag, but yep, that's flashing green, so that battery is fine as well. So it's only the one that's a little bit low, but I'll replace that in the next few days. But all fixed, guys, so no escaping horses anymore. So now that we've fixed the energizers, I'm just going to quickly do a bit of poo picking in the field uh, just to make sure that I keep up with field maintenance for these horses. Uh, as you can see, they're quite interested in what I'm doing. Um, they should be used to this by now, as I do do it often enough. Um, I think they actually just want me to move the fence to give them food at the moment, but um, I'll do that after some poo picking. Hello, Hagrid. Oh, Hagrid's coming over to give me a hand. 
Um, you best not tip that wheelbarrow over. I'm um, nothing in it at the moment, but I don't want to get into the habit of doing so. Um, but he looks like he's going to give me a hand. So are you going to help me, Hagrid? He's like, yep, yep, mum, yep, yep. Hold on, let me just pick up dish and I'll give you a hand. Oh, I can get my teeth around it. Hold on, let, let, let me try and get the scoop. Yep, yep, I, I can do this for you, mum. I'm going to give you a hand today. Maybe not. Well, guys, that's the end of the video today. Um, hope you enjoyed my little how-to guide on um, fixing my energizers. Um, if anyone is interested in how I do my electric fencing setup in a bit more detail, uh, please do uh, give me a comment below, uh, let me know. I'll happily do a kind of setting up video for an electric fence if anyone is struggling or wants any tips or tricks on how I do mine. Um, I know having an electric fence set up is sometimes confusing for people, um, but having a good one does put your mind at ease, as then at least you know your horses are secure, and they're safe, and they're not going to escape and hurt either themselves or anyone else. Um, but yeah, until next time guys, uh, make sure to hug your pet, keep following your dreams, and I'll see you soon.